Hello everybody, this is my first uh, World of Tanks Blitz gameplay. Um, as you saw from uh, World of Tanks trailer, you knew that was going to be foreshadowing something. Um, this is a replay of a battle I did um, a while ago. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm Elite Cruiser 007, as you can see in the top left. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh great, World of Tanks Blitz, that game is terrible. Um, I actually, I actually really enjoy it for a lot of reasons. Smaller teams, uh, smaller games, uh, shorter games. It's just a lot better. It's easier. Well, that's not really why, but it's pretty good. So anyway, about this, um, I'm playing in the tier six British medium tank, the Cromwell. I'm top tier on Oasis Palm, so it's a really, really good matchup going against going up against tier fives and some tier sixes. Um, about this map. I like the map. Um, it's really good for tank destroyers. There's a lot of places to uh, be a sniper, you know, stuff like that. And looks like my entire team, well, I doubt they listen to, to what I said, but they're all going to the, quote, town area. Um, whenever there's a map that has sort of like two main features, like there's dunes and a little like town area, like a village, or there's like um, hills, or just like a city, like on Himmelsdorf, or, well not on Himmelsdorf, sorry, on Middleburg, maps like that. And if you play World of Tanks on computer, uh, yeah, the maps here are smaller, you, you don't really know, um, unless you don't play Blitz. But, yeah, you know, Blitz is pretty underrated. So anyway. My entire team, thankfully, are sticking together, which I think really the best way to win in World of Tanks Blitz or or computer or you know console <laughs> is to stay together. Because then what happens is if you split up, your forces aren't really concentrated, and you can be easily swarmed by people who do decide to uh, you know stay together. So anyway, uh, there's a tier five British light tank camp uh, capping the base. And, oh, there's another Cromwell. He's, uh, looks like, okay, yep, same stock gun, not stock gun, same gun. Um, looks like, well, KV2 just missed, that's unfortunate. Barely managed to get a snapshot right there. Don't get to finish him off. Crusader comes charging out, take a shot, hits the track, no damage. And this part's pretty cool here, look. So it's going to take another shot, rams him, sets him on fire, <laughs> and he blows up, so it's, you know. So far I have no kills, but I have some damage. So there's SD-100, Russian Tier 6 tank destroyer. Very dangerous against light armored vehicles, so I'm careful here, but his gun isn't pointing my direction. I fire, hit. Very good accuracy on British and American tanks. Uh, take another shot, fire, destroy him. And my team team is winning 3 to 0 and unlike in World of Tanks PC the comebacks there aren't really many comebacks in World of Tanks Blitz unless it's like by coincidence your team just happens to get ahead even though there's a the bad team then they get destroyed later on but other than that really no comebacks like if you're winning at the beginning you're going to win it's just the way it works um yeah that's pretty much and Okay, so right here, I'm going to attack this tier 5, uh, not British, German medium tank, Panzer IV. Bad, uh, really bad armor. Go up to him, take one shot, take another shot. Don't finish him off. I think somebody else is going to get him, but he gets the T-34. So what I do, now watch this. No scoped it. Like I said, British tank guns, very good accuracy. So right now I'm riding on three kills, and yep, there goes, wait, what is that? Yep, uh, Sherman tank. And what I do here, um, pretty much what happens is when there's um, one tank left, and a tank is typically, typically like a light tank, like you can't find it anywhere, there will be those people that just want to farm the cap points, which I can, can completely understand. And there are those people who will pretty much just... Uh, scout around the map, trying to find, um, trying to find and kill that last tank. But then, if everybody does that, I'll just end up in a force draw, 
but if you cap, everybody gets more XP, and, well, you win. So that's your win rate. So, after I, after an unsuccessful spotting mission, I just come back and decide to cap with the derp. Yeah, gave me two. Derp. I might do a video on that one, maybe. It's a really fun tank, but, um, yeah, I can't afford it right now. I'm pretty broken. What? <laughs> yeah, so, um... Pretty much the rest of the battle, it's pretty boring, you can just skip ahead, because, uh, yeah, we win by capping. Sorry about spoiler. Just kidding, that wasn't a spoiler. Because <laughs> when your entire team's capping, you're going to win. If there's only one tank left, because, you know, uh, there's some people that think that if everybody rushes a cap circle, then... You know, you're going to win, but that's not true, because then, then the enemy all knows where you are, they're going to all focus on, yep, and there's, capped it. So I get to farm some, and, and then, like, at the end, I spot him right there. So I did pretty well, I got Abrams Metal Class 2, um, Mastery Badge Class 3, 720 experience, 13,294 credits, and I got three enemies. Team did pretty good. Um, I did the second most damage, um, most kills though, most XP, and yeah, most kills on that team too. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty good battle. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.